Get ready for the single manliest journey of your life. Right, time to be a man. Ditch the razor, it's Movember. Embrace your inner Grizzly Adams, let that hair grow. We're doing it all to raise awareness for men's health, but also to celebrate, we're reflecting on some of the best facial hair ever to hit Hollywood. Our journey begins with Nick Offerman, a man. Developing my mustache required years of training. I brought it to Scotland, where sheep herders tamed its unruly I then studied ways. with Tibetan monks, who combed it like a sick Every garden. day, I washed it with cologne, whale oil, and even dry. You know, there are those who say that a mustache is the most noble form of facial hair, and they say similar things about Tom Selleck, because he's a man. I never think of my mustache as, as being iconic and running off somewhere on its own, but I guess it, guess it does. Take, for instance, Ron Burgundy. Yes, he's a fictional news anchor, but he's also a man. Will Ferrell actually grew a real mustache to get into character, and um, while he was promoting Anchorman 2, he sat down to interview Peyton Manning for ESPN, and he called Peyton out for his lack of facial hair. Is Peyton a man? You're running around out there, and, and I'm gonna be honest with you, you look like a succulent baby lamb, okay? And let's face it, all the great NFL quarterbacks have had mustaches. Joe Namath, Jeff Hotstetler, uh, Jeff George, uh, Randell C Cunningham, uh, Mark Malone, uh, Colt McCoy, Burt Reynolds, the guy from Barney Miller, Mike Farrell from MASH. The list goes on and on. Barney Miller. Um, well, first off, Ron, uh, some of those guys weren't quarterbacks, uh, as far as I know. And I guess to tell you the truth, I never had much of a desire to grow any facial hair. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex Trebek's mustache is as classic as it gets. He wouldn't be Alex Trebek without that, and that's why he's so integral to Jeopardy. Now, the internet went absolutely cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs when he decided to shave it off during the summer. Thankfully, he grew it back. You know why? He's a man. What about Hulk Hogan and that mustache that has never missed a chance to be dyed, but he really does hook up his handlebar and keep it in pristine condition. I think he loved that mustache more than hitting the gym. You know why? Because he's a man. What about Walt Disney, Clark Gable, and Dr. Martin Luther King? A few of our favorites, all men. Listen, back when I had hair, I had a mustache. I, uh, I know, pretty bad porn stash. But anyway, send us your Movember look on Twitter. I'm at Kevin Frazier, and make sure you use our hashtag, ETNow. But most importantly, be a man.